All right, let's solve this problem, right? So we're going to take a look at this particular curve. And then from here to here, and then we're going to rotate this about the y-axis, right? So if I graph them, the graph of this is going to look like something like that. That's my y-axis. That's my x-axis. And uh, y is going to go from 8, so 2, 4, 6, 8. And when y is 0, x is 8. four six eight so the curve is going to look something like this it's going to look something like that and we're rotating this with respect to the y-axis right then what do we have is we're going to have something like that and then let me extend this guy further then it's going to be something like this. It's going to be something like that, right? <clears throat> that is the kind of the curve that we're going to have when we rotate this. All right, so now <clears throat> let's try to do the surface area, right? <clears throat> so now we're going to do the integration with respect to x. So let me take a generic piece. The generic piece is something like that, right? So we're rotating this guy. Um, so we're rotating this particular guy and then so it's going to be it's going to be something like that along the x-axis right so then it is going to be the radius which is that right there is the radius and then we're going to multiply with that surface this particular arc length right radius is r I'm going to integrate this with respect to x. I'm going to say r as a function of x. Then this surface right there, which is right here, is going to be square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Right? That's the, not the dx. That is that surface area there. We're going to do that. Now, if we set it up, then the surface area, surface area is going to be, is what it's going to be 2 pi integral from 0 to, 8. 0 to 8 and the radius which in this case is x right and square root of 1 plus f as a function of x the derivative square of them and dx right now let's try to evaluate this particular expression right now i'm going to rewrite this function as a y as a function of x right so in this expression i'm going to write a y as a function of x so if i do that let me do this on the side if i do that let me do it here So what I have is I'm going to have my y to the two-third is going to be 4 minus x to the two-third. You agree with me, right? So therefore, here y would be 4 minus x to the two-third to the power of 3 half, right? Now... If I find the derivative of this one, which would be 3 half 4 minus x to the 2 third to the 1 half times the derivative of inside by the chain rule, which would be 0 minus 2 third x to the negative 1 third. Do you agree with me? How do you get the negative one third? You subtract one from here. Hmm. Two third minus one is negative one third. Right? This is basically 
is basically 2 third minus 1 right and if I simplify that further, what am I going to have? Let me keep the things on the top. So as you can see here, I can cancel the 2 and 2 and 3 and 3. Things that I have it on the numerator is going to be 4 minus x to the 2 third to the 1 half. And the things that I have it on the bottom is going to be x to the 1 third. You guys can come on and <coughs> join. We are doing the, solving the problem. Right, so now if I square it up, what happens? If I square it up, what happens? I'm gonna have to square this, I'm gonna have to square this, right? I'm so mad that I it's, I... it's gonna be canceling these two, right? And then it's gonna be two third, right? All right, I completely blanked on that question. I'm All right, so let's upset. let's 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 work on this one. We are recording this conversation, by the way. I'm going to post oh, on I'm YouTube, sorry. so that's okay. That's <laughs> fine. So, so be careful of what you say. Whatever you say is going to be on YouTube. Ah. <clears throat> so now if I square this up, what do I have? I would have 4 minus x to the 2 third divided by x to the 2 third. You agree with me? Because I'm squaring this guy. So this will go away. So I'll be left with that one. That's right here. And this is going to be 2 third, right? That's right there. Now, if I simplify this, then it is going to be 4 over x to the 2 third minus 1. Right? If I divide this guy, if I do the common denominator, right? And this is going to be 1 right there, right? And so, therefore, therefore, 1 plus y prime squared is what? 1 plus this right here, right? If you bring it in, it's going to be 4 over x to the 2 third minus 1. As you can see, these two are getting cancelled. And I'm left with simply... 4 over x to the 2 third, right? Which, if you don't mind, I can say as what? 4 times x to the negative 2 third, right? All right. Now, so if I take this guy and plug it into my, plug it into my equation there, if you take this one and take it to this right here then this whole thing would be what 2 pi 0 to 8 x times right x times square root of 4 x to the negative 2 third dx do you agree with me yes right hard to see from there now, if I further simplify this, it's going to be 2 pi, 0. To, yeah, if you, you're more than welcome to ask any questions, right? If you have any questions, feel free. It's going to be x times square root of 4 is 2. And if I take this, it's, you know, it's a power is 1 half, right? This, it's a 1 half. If I cancel the 1 half and the 2 right there, so I'm going to have a negative, negative 1 third, right? So this is going to be x to the negative 1 third dx. If I combine these two powers, these two powers, then I am going to have, then I can pull the 2 outside, so it's going to be 4 pi. So it's going to be 4 pi integral from 0 to 8, x to the 2 third dx. Because if I add this and this together, 1 minus 1 third is 2 third, right? Now that's an easy integration. I can integrate them. If I integrate that guy, this is going to be 4 pi integral of x to the, how much is that? 5 third multiplied by 3 fifth or divided by 5 third. The lower limit is 0. The upper limit is 8. Lower limit does not contribute anything. So it's going to be simply 4 pi 
times 3 over 5 multiplied by 8 to the 5 third and 1 third of 8 is 2 so 2 to the 5 is 32 so we have 4 pi times 3 times 32 divided by 5 so that is going to be how much that's going to be 4 pi uh, <coughs> this is uh, times 96 32. yeah 96 times 4s 96. 96 times 4s 3084 yeah. over 5 pi would be the answer for this problem. I see. So when we were solving for the integration, or setting up the integration, so you found the derivative, and the derivative was 4 minus x to the 2 thirds, then you canceled out using the 3 to the second power, or how did you cancel that out is my question. Cancel which one? When you find the derivative? Yes. You bring the power down, mm -hmm. subtract the power by 1. So that's what I did. I brought the power down, okay. subtract the power by 1. Understood. So then it was... Okay. And then multiply by the... Using the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the inside. Understood. Okay. I guess where I messed up was that I, I neglected to put the negative um, one-third. I see. For that problem. And okay. then 